When people talk about the new Gutenberg editor experience, you oftentimes hear that it's not a page builder, it's not there yet, it's just not quite fully cooked. And here at Incomesh.com, uh, my goal is to help you find the perfect tool for your next project, and I just have to start dispelling some of these rumors. So this video is going to be the first of several that I do where I highlight individual plugins that help you take Gutenberg from its base level and bring it all the way up to a full-blown and amazing page builder status. So in today's video, we're going to start walking through with the first uh, plugin that will help you do this, and that plugin is called Cadence Blocks. And this plugin is can be found for free on the WordPress repository. You just search for Cadence Blocks. You can find it in your dashboard and your admin panel. And what it does, essentially, is it adds a few very crucial blocks into your WordPress editor. And what we're going to do in this video is kind of review each one of these blocks and play around with them and show you why I think one of this plugin is one of the few that is absolutely necessary to be put onto any WordPress blog if you're intending on running the Gutenberg plugin. Okay. So let's just take a look at the uh, website here. They have a pro version, uh, which allows you to give you, you know, a, it gives you some other features, but I only have the free version, and so far I've been very excited and very uh, happy with it, and primarily for this guy here, the row layout block. And if you're familiar with Breezy or have seen any of my previous Breezy uh, building tutorials, you'll know that one of the best features about Breezy is that they have these amazing pre-built libraries of sections that you can pull into your page very easily with a single click. And with just one free plugin with Cadence Blocks, you get that exact same functionality into Gutenberg. Now that, to me, is a pretty exciting opportunity and it's one of the reasons why I have actually converted my income mesh website from Divi over to uh, the Gutenberg editor <clears throat> because I just see so much development happening in the Gutenberg space that I have a hard time believing that page builders will be able to keep up long term. So uh, just kind of scrolling through here you see other uh, custom blocks that are here and more are coming and we'll walk through those together right now. Okay so I have here on my website let me just show you real quick. So People often say that Gutenberg is just not there yet and it doesn't build nice websites, but this is all built using free plugins from Gutenberg. So you can see you know, the layouts, the calls to actions, this actual SVG, kind of nice flat graphic, is something in a future video I'll, I'll tell you about, kind of a teaser there, but that's all done in Gutenberg. Um, you know, your call to action sections, doing multiple column layouts, different alignment opportunities, post layouts with masonry there's a lot you can do already with gutenberg and it's getting better every single day uh you know even to that point this plugin that we're going to talk about here cadence blocks it was updated only seven minutes ago the level of development in the gutenberg space is absolutely blistering right now so if you're looking for a page builder and you haven't shelled out any money for a divi or a thrive or anything like that and if your needs currently are not too specific uh I strongly urge you to consider working on Gutenberg and following along this series and checking out what you can do in this page builder. I also have an announcement at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around for that. Okay, so here we are in the um, a brand new page. Let's just go ahead and call this the Cadence Block. And let's just kind of look at what we can do here. So one of the challenges, one of the only things I really have against um, Cadence is they don't have an individual section that holds all of their blocks. So for example, stackable, atomic, and UAGB as ultimate add-ons. These are all, um, I guess, competitors or similar plugins within the space where they keep all their stuff together, kind of nice and easy for you. Um, Cadence tries to be more natural, and so they'll kind of put their uh, blocks everywhere. Uh, so you can see here within the common blocks, these blue ones are the Cadence blocks. Let's go ahead and start with the most important one here, which is the row layout. And once you kind of know what you're looking for, you're not going to be diving through this menu any longer. I'll show you what you'll do in Gutenberg in a second. So let's just select the row layout. And if you've used any page builder really before, uh, this will look immediately uh, familiar. You're first given the opportunity to say, what layout do you want for this next section of your page? And you can do a single row. Let's just do a two column equal uh, columns here. And now you have a two column layout. Now, this is not anything special in itself because you can do this from the get go uh, with the default Gutenberg. But what's nice about this is that you now have the ability to do even more types of <clears throat> customizations. So for example, let's go up to our uh, block navigator and select the entire row. And let's just take a look at what we can do here. So you can very easily drag and change this from a 50-50 to a 70-30, etc, etc. You can also adjust, let me just put some 
content here. And let's put an image on this one here. And let me just put a little, nice little headshot. Let me do the self aggrandizing headshot that everybody just has to have on their website. So here you can see that the content is top aligned, meaning it's going to start from the top of the row. And if we preview this, let me just save it and preview. So here we can see we're on our, our page here, the cadence block, that's the title of the page. Here you've got the image on one column and your content on the other column. But even in some premium page builders right now, it's kind of a difficult thing to center line some of this content. Some of you have to play with crazy padding. Let me show you how easy it is with this one simple free plugin. We can go to our row layout. And then here you've got several options at the top that honestly I, I missed for a second because it's so it kind of tucked away there nicely. If we go to vertical, vertically align, now your content will align perfectly like this, no matter how much content you add. If you add, for example, a button, so this advanced button is another button from uh, Cadence. Click here. Let's give it a URL. Take it to Google. And so now if I do the same thing and save draft and view this, you can see that the content now has center lined without any margin adjusting or anything like that. So now my content is right here um, in the center of that big image. So that's it seems like a small thing, but when you're designing web pages and you're trying to get alignment just right, it can be so crucial. So what else is awesome about this setup here? So let's assume that instead of this white on white, we actually want to do kind of what's very common and fancy. Like if we go to, uh, let's go to, I think on my about page, I have some an example of this. This little fancy divider above and below the about section, that's actually done all in cadence blocks. This is one cadence block row. So let me show you how that works real quick. So if on this row here, you can see that by default, it is within the container, within the space of the container that I'm working on. Let me go into full screen mode here. There we go, more space to see here. But like with your images or videos or anything you put on here, you can adjust the width of this content very easily. And I can make this very easily a full width section. And when I do that, let me just go ahead and publish this and show you what it looks like. And we can make some adjustments to it. Okay, and I'll view the page. So now what's happened is I've stretched out, you know, my container width is only here, but this image here goes the entire stretch of the screen. So what is that good for? Let me show you real quick. So now we're back here in our editor. We'll go, we'll go ahead and select this row here. And first off, what's nice about it is now you can go to background settings and let's say you want to change the background color and give you like a light gray background color. That's easy to do there. Uh, you can adjust some other settings here, but now what's really fun is the dividers. So you can click on dividers here on the right hand side and you can choose either a bottom divider, which would add the divider down here, obviously, or the top divider, which would add the divider up here. And so let's just go to our bottom divider and click down in the drop down and see they give you, you know, a, a dozen or so different dividers. I like the mountains. It's just kind of fancy. And if I look down here, you can see now I have that same mountain view, uh, the fancy divider there that will just kind of give that extra professionalism in your page. What you can also do, let me just go back in and select that row. You can go to your structure settings. Now, if you notice, I've made this full width. But I'm what I really want to achieve is where the background and the coloring and the dividers that goes full width, but the actual content on the screen, like this image and the um, the text and all that stuff here, that respects a certain container layout. And so what you can do with that is on your content max width, you can adjust this so that the content within this row within this section is only let's say a thousand pixels wide, which is a nice kind of happy number but the entire row area can go the full width of the screen. Let's just go ahead and preview this and see what that looks like. Okay, so here we go. So here's our background color and you can see our divider down here. So everything's looking very nice, very professional. And you also notice that the content, you know, this image doesn't extend all the way to the edge of the screen. It's respecting that 1000 pixel uh, layout or container that we gave it just a second ago. All right, let's go ahead and show you a couple more settings here. So we're back in our editor and like we've been playing with the row itself, you can also adjust individual settings within the column. So here I've selected just the column that has my image and you can adjust the background color of this, the padding of each part of that area there, which doesn't make a ton of sense to do, but you know, you can do some pretty advanced uh, adjustments here using this setup alone. You can also do is notice here this 25 pixels. This gives you a great drag and drop ability to change the amount of 
padding within the section itself because you know people like white space they, their eyes like to relax as they're reading through so you don't want to have your content right on top of each other like that so this is the row setup there's a ton you can do obviously we can't fin show it all in one video but this kind of shows you how powerful this one block is within a single plugin for gutenberg let's show you another thing here that is really what kind of got me all jazzed up about this plugin if we go back to our row layout let's add one more row in and let's click here this pre-built library so this almost brings the power of breezy into the default wordpress editors which is phenomenal so here you have some category selectors where you can say a call to action section uh, what this does is let's say you're scrolling through and you like this maybe you have uh, something that you want to display on an ipad and you have that call to action area <clears throat> you can click just one little button and it's going to add everything in here let me show you what this is so if i go to my block navigator in one click we added in the row which has two columns and then on this first column we have the image and on the second column we have two different headers uh, some paragraph text and an advanced button and all of these are pre-configured pre-set up you know mobile responsive all kinds of good stuff here let me just update it and show you what this looks like once we have uh, viewed the page okay so here we are again here's my poorly formatted block first but now you have this easy one-click import feature with cadence blocks rows and you see all this is working correctly if i adjust my screen and go down to a smaller area you can see it being mobile responsive i believe at a certain point it's going to stack the content so here you go uh, when you get to a certain point it stacks column one on top of column two and it continues to respond and and fit correctly which is just very very well done for a free plugin in wordpress so now back in our editor let's just go through and add a few of these rows so you can see what some of the possibilities are here so if we go through and we're looking through let's say we want to have some tabs we can include some tabs here where now you can quickly create a different setups here maybe there's like a members area where they have their orders and things of that nature all this content here so this is an advanced heading this is actually another cadence block item which you can you know change the h2 to an h3 alignment colors of the heading things that you can't do in the default wordpress editor um, are all of a sudden very easy to be done here let me show you one thing that i really really appreciate about this uh this block in particular so let's say for example we want to change the background color of let's say we want to change the background color of this section here we'll go to the row and let's go to our background settings and make it black now if we update this here we can see obviously you have black on black now this is not good for anything right uh so what you would normally have to do in in the gutenberg editor is change each block individually and change the color of the text back to white but let me show you a little hack that cadence allows you to do very easily let's go and select this row one more time and you have a new section this was a recent addition to it where you can adjust the text color settings of all the text within the block i'll go ahead and select white and hit update and let's view this page so now you can see all the text, all the paragraph text was turned to white, but it does look like that because uh, these are actual headings and they were their colors were prescribed uh, in the setup that they did not carry over. So let's go ahead and fix that by building one ourselves. Let's go and edit this page one last time and let's kind of recreate that section we saw there. So we'll do a row and this row is going to be two columns. And on the first column, let's put an image oh not this one that's going to be for a future video that was my secret one of my secret weapons it's an image and let's just select a normal one from our library let's just pick a little stock image here and then on this side let me show you some of the other cadence blocks they have an advanced heading and so instead of just using the default header you have this option here and so we can go ahead and say cadence blocks works Let's go ahead and add in here a button. Learn more about blocks. Let's see if I get something here. Okay. And within the button, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's just add some normal text. Okay. So thanks for sticking with me on that one. Let's create, let's view how this looks and then show you the power of cadence blocks adjusting the text color. Okay. So the section we just built is here now all the text here is black normal but what if we make the background black <clears throat> obviously we'll show you you know what would happen there so let's make the background black oops that's the, selected the column select the row 
and make the background settings black. But now let's scroll down to our text color settings and quickly make the text white. And we'll hit the update button and show you what that looks like as well. So now you can see how quickly that was to invert the color of the background to black and turn all the text, including the headers, white using a kind of a global control, controlling all the colors within the row that haven't already been tinkered with. Now, for example, if um, we had adjusted this color to be a gray within the actual block settings of that advanced header, and then we went back into the row settings and made it white, the block settings, you know, the, the ones that are specifically designed for that for that block that will override that will have priority over the row settings but if you use default uh, settings then the row <laughs> sorry this is a little complicated but it's kind of like an uh, outside in so you know the the outside isn't as powerful uh, the outside being the, the row won't be as powerful as the block setting itself but if you leave it default it will do the trick perfectly so let me just show you um, some of the other features here and I think you kind of get the idea. The The big winner when it comes to Cadence Blocks is that row layout. But let's just show you some of the others that are here. And they're easy to find because they use the, the blue kind of highlight here. And this is a pretty powerful one as well. And what this does is some page builders allow you to you know download font awesome icons. But they can sometimes slow down your website because you have to load the entire font set. What this does is it allows you to only load the ones you want. And you can search for your icons. So we can search for Apple. And now you got Apple Pay. You got different types of icons here. So let me show you just this guy. Within this icon, you can change the color. You can change all sorts of fun things. Make it a stacked icon where you have a background, which that looks hideous. You make it a background here and the border color being a darker gray. A lot of things you can do, including making the border greater or less, making a rounded border increasing the padding between the border and the icon itself, as well as you know, increasing the size of the icon, obviously. So a lot of control here. And obviously, you can imagine the power of this comes in when you combine this into one of the rows. So I can take this and just drag it directly into a row. And now I've got a powerful looking <coughs> icon within a row setup here. What I can do is you know take this row as well. Clicking around here a little bit take this row and make it maybe wider than the content of the page. And let's just see what we did here. Very cool. So obviously, you know, there's some spacing issues here, we would want to add a spacer in here. But that gives you an idea of some of the power of the cadence blocks plugin. So there you go. So that is the cadence blocks. just a quick walkthrough. Obviously, there's so much that we could go through and give a complete tutorial on just how to use those blocks alone. But I think you get the idea that very quickly, there's gonna be developers coming in that creates functionality for Gutenberg, that all of a sudden brings it on par of some of the best in best in class page builders out there for WordPress. So here is something for you to do next. If you enjoyed this and want to get better at Gutenberg as well, I am in the process of developing my first course on IncomeMesh.com, which is a Gutenberg quick start course. And it's going to help you understand what the best plugins are to use to in increase the functionality of Gutenberg, kind of like Cadence Blocks. It's also going to show you some of the best practices that I've learned as building along with it, as well as from my experience using Divi and Astra and Breezy and uh, Thrive and all other page builders out there, what you can do and what you should not do when it comes to building in Gutenberg. If you're interested in signing up for the course and getting it as soon as it drops for free, uh, go ahead and go to IncomeMesh.com and right there at the top of the page should be the ability for you to create a free account. Go ahead and do that. and. There will be content coming out over the next couple of days. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this and have any other suggestions on what plugins I should be going through when it comes to the Gutenberg quest of making it the superior page builder for WordPress, go ahead and leave a comment below. Hit the like and the subscribe button and share with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.